Fall is a time for new beginnings, and Learning Works is no exception. Tom talked with the organization's interim CEO, Joel Russ, about several new initiatives designed to help those most in need. Joel, thanks for joining us. I'm happy to. And now you've been with Learning Works for a while as development director, but now you're transitioning over into interim CEO. That's right. How has that been going? It's been going very well. Um, I had to know quite a bit about Learning Works uh, in my development director position because I had to write grants that were responsive to the to the nature of our program and the details. Um, but uh, this new position has given me an opportunity to really dig much more deeply into into our core programs. Now, what are some of the programs, especially like starting with the younger group, the third to fourth, fifth mm -hmm. graders, the after school mm -hmm. program that's starting up? Being sure. Um, well. Our educational programs are intended to, uh, first of all, serve a broad range of individuals, uh, each of whom, for a variety of reasons, has some challenges in their lives. Um, uh, we hope to give these people uh, hope for the future and tools for making successful transitions to lives of stability and self-reliance and independence. So that is our, that is our purpose and our, and our mission. And we do that through a number of programs. Uh, we serve um, what are considered to be uh, low-performing third, fourth, and fifth graders in four uh, elementary schools in Portland, Reiki, East End Community School, and Riverton. These are kids who have been identified by their teachers and by testing uh, to be performing under their grade level. And uh, we categorize uh, our program as a extended day learn. We know from research and anecdotes that children who are given some extra time during a day or extra time during a school year uh, to get remedial assistance, help with their homework that is curriculum-based, uh, engage in cultural uh, enhancement or enrichment opportunities, will do better uh, in, their, in their classrooms. And we've been running that we're now into our third year. Uh, it's a five-year 21st century learning grant opportunity. Uh, we have, we'll have by the end of this academic year, have served anywhere from 250 to 350 kids. Now you have programs for uh, educational programs for other age groups, like the Youth Build program. Can you yes, talk about that yeah. a little bit? Let me just tell you that that program is called Learning Works After School, <laughs> <laughs> just to put a moniker on it. Um, we also serve uh, young men and women ages 16 and a half to 24, uh, all of whom have dropped out of public high school in southern Maine. And uh, it's called Youth Building Alternatives. Uh, it is an alternative high school, accredited, um, supported in large part by a grant from the Department of Labor. There are several components, uh, GED preparation. We have a construction trade skill building component, uh, which includes work uh, here at Learning Works, as well as on-site experience and practical application. Um, we have... Um, entered into a nice strategic partnership with Jobs for Maine's graduates, whereby we have added a workforce development and workforce readiness component. And associated with that is a mentoring program that is employer-based. So each of our students has an opportunity to be matched with an adult mentor uh, who is in a business that is relevant to what the young person is learning. Wow. Now, we don't have too much time left. Can you quickly sort of describe the community-based youth services program? Yes, that's a, another whole array of uh, services. Um, and these we call our juvenile justice programs. Uh, I think the description of each of the programs will kind of give you a sense of its purpose, but back on track, alternatives to detention. Uh, we have an expanding targeted case management program. Uh, we have a service works program, which gets kids out into the community to do service learning and service works. And all of this is intended to uh, primarily keep young people who, who might be have a little brush with the law from uh, going into detention, uh, which is not a good thing for, for any young person, uh, and to assist those who may have had um, uh, some more formal action taken, uh, taken in the juvenile justice system to make this transition back into society successfully. You've done a real good job of trying to summarize a lot of what... <laughs> Learning Works does in a very short time. So if people want to get more information, where, where, what would they, uh, where can they go? Well, they can go to our website, uh, which is www.learningworks.me, uh, uh, www as in Maine. Um, call me, 
775-0105. I'd be happy to talk to anybody and explain it in more detail. Uh, we do encourage anybody who's interested in our programs to take a tour of our, our facilities, meet our great staff, meet some of our wonderful students, and, which reminds me, these students are here voluntarily. Every one of the students, clients, customers that we have at LearningWorks is here because they want to improve their lives. Nobody's forcing them to, to, their, to, to be here. Well, thanks a lot for joining us. I it's appreciate it. Great to it. talk to you. Thank right. you.